better Nizam, better Pakistan. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Uh, we are here to ask you about your project. Uh, it's uh, immigration for Cyprus. There are so many people in Pakistan who would like to know exact location where geographically uh, this is, uh, country is located and uh, what are going to be the facilities for the people who are going to be immigrated and after the investments. Okay, well, um, thank you for inviting us anyway. Um, the program is all about Cyprus immigration. Cyprus is um, a country in Europe um, and it's a Mediterranean island um, on the eastern seaboard of the Mediterranean. So the program that we're promoting is all related to citizenship and residency related to real estate in Cyprus. So the two combine together. So basically to get a passport, a European passport, you can do this in Cyprus um, by linking it to a purchase of real estate. The same thing with residency, permanent residency. So we have two programs and this is something that's quite new for Pakistan in which we want to come and introduce it to people. We're getting a very good response. Um, people are interested in looking for the ring fencing the future of their generations, uh, their children. Um, they're looking maybe for safety, security for their families um, or they're looking just for easier travel, easier trade. So there's lots of additional benefits um, that can be taken from the program. So I don't know if you want to explain that a little bit more in detail. This is our partner in, um, in Pakistan. Right. Basically we are a property developer in Cyprus and we are the ones that are providing the real estate solution. Um, our son here is um, an immigration lawyer based in Lahore and he is um, specializing in immigration um, across the world. So we work together in partnership to be able to provide a service to Pakistan clients in processing their applications and providing them a real estate solution. All right. Uh, we have, uh, like, uh, for example, I would like to think about uh, taking this opportunity. Then the first thing I would like to know is that uh, uh, what is the weather conditions over there, what kind of business or jobs I will be able to do and stuff, because uh, this is uh, the right time uh, we can, you know, uh, explain to so many people that uh, uh, what exactly are we going to provide through uh, your services. Uh, so that when people go from here from uh, after the immigration uh, so many people have traveled to Canada but when they arrived over there uh, most of them they had issues with uh, finding jobs and stuff so many people entered so quickly over there and uh, then there was a lot of issues for some, uh, most of them many people came back and started their career back in Pakistan so how is it there? Uh, what is the maximum temperature, minimum temperature? And uh, what do you think about the jobs over there? Do you think it's easy to find the jobs? Okay, well, there's two, two, two things. One is yeah. about the country and one is about the actual the work environment. Yes. So if we talk about the country first and, and climate and as a place to live, um, Cyprus is actually the safest place in the world to live for smaller populations. So for safety, security, it's fantastic. As a climate, it's got the second best climate in the world. It's a Mediterranean climate. So it peaks at around 30, 33 degrees in the summer and the winters are very warm, down maybe 15, 16 degrees. So as a place to live, it's a very pleasant environment in which to live, especially for people obviously from here and the, the temperatures that you have here. So um, as a place to live also in terms of availability of work, depending on the program that you take, uh, the immigration program, if you take the passport, a Cyprus passport is a European citizenship. As a European citizen, that enables you to work in any European country. So you don't have just to look at Cyprus and the opportunities to work in Cyprus. We very much like you to stay there. But if you don't, if maybe you have a skill set that's suited elsewhere, then you can look across any European country to take work. So you can live, work, trade in any European country as well as Cyprus. If you take permanent residency, then you can work in Cyprus if you set up your own business. So you trade through your own business. Now, to do that, there are huge tax advantages. One of the, the big assets of Cyprus, tourism is our number one industry, tourism and hospitality. A lot of people may be wanting to get involved into restaurants or hotels, that type of thing, huge advantages. Um, also, if you want to maybe look at um, 
trading through Cyprus. So maybe you have a company in Pakistan, but you're trading into Europe. You can set up and trade through a Cyprus company. Cyprus companies have huge tax advantages. Our corporation tax is 12.5%. So there are huge benefits of actually just setting up corporate structures in Cyprus. So all of these things, we sit down very much on a one-to-one -one basis with our clients. We find out what their needs are, and then we find them the right package for what they're looking for. So it's not a general product that we try to offer. We try to sit down, establish what is the best product for you and your family, what's going to benefit you, what do you need, what are your needs, and then we come up with the right solution for you. So it's very much tailored on a one-to-one -on -one basis. And was, uh, what would you like to say uh, to the people in Pakistan about, uh, I've seen, I was looking at the videos, it looks like uh, heaven on earth. It's a very nice place, I'm sure, to visit. And uh, if people move there, I'm sure that uh, people will really be, uh, you know, very happy to work there. And as uh, ma'am said, that the weather conditions looks awesome as well. Uh, what do you think uh, about this? Uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, uh, for this interview. Actually, it's a, a beautiful island. It's a very small island with a population of 1.1 million. And uh, it's a 0% crime rate. It's a, uh, you know, the, what people are looking for right now is a safety and security for their children, for their family. So it's a new concept is coming uh, in the world as a global citizenship and uh, residency by investment programs. These programs are for those people actually who, who don't uh, want to live uh, in any country but they want to get a second citizenship or residency for their family, for their children, for their education and uh, they can go there, they can live there, they can edu uh, get education and they can come back. So it's a very good, like a new concept to invest in any other, other country, like a European, this is a European country, and uh, to having all these benefits from the, the, this particular country. So I think so it's a very good uh, programs. These are very good programs and people are getting more and more interest in this. And we are the only leader, like in Pakistani market, who are introducing this global citizenship and permanent residency program by investments. Sorry, can I just add on that, that one thing that's really drawn people to us, Cyprus has taken over 5 billion euro in this program in the last four years. The main reason that we've attracted so many people is for exactly the reasons that we've said about safety, security, education, all of these things, but also the process itself. The process for a passport only takes three months for approval. So you can have a passport, you can have a European passport approved in three months and actually issued within six months. For the permanent residency program, you can actually have your visa within, or residency visa that is, within two months. So it's a very fast process. The other thing is the simplicity of it. We don't ask for, with a lot of requirements in like Canada and other countries, they have language requirements, they have educational requirements. All Cyprus asks is that you have proof of funds, that you can prove that you have the money and that you're a nice person. Other than that, there are no other requirements that we actually ask for. So we're actually very welcoming of people. The, um, the schools, the education for children is fantastic. Um, we have a school, we're based on the western side of the island in Paphos. We have an international school in Paphos. We have 42 different nationalities of children at the school. They teach global citizenship. So it doesn't matter where you're from. Nobody cares what race you are, what religion you are, what culture you've come from. The children are taught to live together. So for anybody that's coming from any different environment, you're very much welcomed into the local community. All right. And uh, what language do you speak over there, please? Uh, well, the, the language of Cyprus is Greek, uh, Greek and Turkish, um, but 90% of the population speak English. Um, it was a British colony, so we drive on the same side of the road, we speak, all the signs are in English um, and uh, everything basically is very similar to what people will find here. The laws, the regulations are very similar to what people will already be familiar with. So as soon as you land, you can feel very comfortable that you can communicate, that you can get around, that you can drive without having any problems. There's not much traffic anyway, we don't have traffic. <laughs> um, so it's very easy, easy to get around. But um, the whole idea is we want people to come, to welcome, to feel warm and feel safe in our environment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you.